I'm Emma for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. It's a really important time to be working on AI technologies as we translate deep research and breakthroughs into products that truly help people. This week, Google announced an experimental conversational AI service powered by our language model for dialogue applications, or Lambda for short, that we're calling BARD. BARD seeks to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge with the power, intelligence, and creativity of our large language models. It draws on information from the web to provide fresh, high-quality responses. BARD can be an outlet for creativity and a launchpad for curiosity. Flutter Forward streamed live from Nairobi, Kenya last month as developers from around the world gathered in person and online to learn about the future directions for Flutter. In case you missed it, Flutter Forward looked, well, forward, offering a preview of the next wave of investments we're making in Flutter. Breakthrough graphics performance, seamless integration for web and mobile, early support for new and emerging architectures, and a continued focus on the developer experience. Learn more and get excited about the work that will gradually be delivered over the coming months on the Flutter blog. Google Chrome launched their newest course, Learn Images, a deep dive into all that you need to know about images on the web. This course is created for beginners and advanced developers alike covering everything from the basics of ensuring image sources are efficiently requested and rendered to the details of how common image formats are communicated from server to client. Throughout this course, you'll learn how to achieve the smallest possible transfer sizes for your images without compromising on their quality, at least not in a way that anyone will be able to see. And that's not all. Chrome also announced Interop 2023 a collaborative, multi-year initiative where all major browser vendors are again working together to solve the top browser compatibility issues. You can learn more about our focus areas of 2023 on web.dev. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check out the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Emma for The Developer Show, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. There. Okay. From the top. Okay.